Hey, I've been wrong before. So I was going to get some more rest because I've been under the weather all weekend. I haven't really seen anything, haven't got a chance to review anything, but I got up this morning feeling somewhat better. Okay, so with a little energy that I do have, I'm going to talk about what the hell I just seen on YouTube. So I made a rant video during the Super Bowl about how terrible the solo movie looks. And I just, I shit on it before I even seen the movie. I know some would consider that to be unfair, but because... I am a Star Wars fan, I'm a fan of the character of Han Solo, I just felt like the, the trailer didn't do him any justice, and the fact that they're bringing it out so late, I felt that Disney didn't have any faith in the movie, but now I've seen the full trailer this morning, as I'm laying in bed, damn near dying, okay, but something in me just said, Rashad, you have to talk about this, you have to share this with your YouTube fam. This trailer now has me wanting to watch the movie, like, I'm not blown away and like, oh my god, like, this is gonna be probably the greatest Star Wars movie ever, no. I still have low expectations of it, but now, my expectations have gone a little bit higher now. Star Wars fans are hardest to please, okay, I'm a Star Wars fan, we are hard to please, and it's kind of funny that I've, I fall in the minority of the people that like The Last Jedi. Like, I love The Last Jedi. If you, if you watch my Last Jedi review, I love that I gave it an A+. Plus, and <laughs> I kind of wish I can go back and change it. Now, not to give it a, lower, a low grade, but just a lower grade because, you know, when it comes to Star Wars, man, like, it just, it always does something right here, man. So, the fact that... It was different. It went in a different direction than what I was expecting. And then I was entertained by the fact that it was Star Wars. Like, even when you hear the effects of the TIE Fighters and the Blasters and everything, it just brings back something from your childhood. So, I when I, the first time that I saw it, I loved it. The second time I watched it, I was like, okay, I didn't like it as much as the first time. I've seen The Last Jedi now about four times. Just to see if I can feel the same way other people felt that hated it. And I still don't hate this movie. Doesn't have flaws, could have been better, could have, I, I wish we could have seen more of Luke Skywalker doing badass things. <clears throat> I feel Ryan Johnson was very ambitious in the route that he took, and supposedly J.J. Abrams is supposed to fix this problem in Episode Nine. but personally speaking, I, I, I thought The Last Jedi was, I, I loved it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't give it an A-plus now, like, if I reviewed it now after multiple viewings, I would give it maybe a B plus, you know, B plus, borderline A. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I thought, I, I enjoyed it, man. But Solo, Solo to me looks like it's going to be a good action uh, adventure story, almost like a Guardians of the Galaxy kind of thing or whatever. And um, I'm still not sold on the act of playing Han Solo. Like, I don't, he just doesn't look the part, he doesn't sound the part. But the movie on its own looks good, you know what I'm saying? Like, anytime you see the Falcon flying... And seeing Chewie, like, Chewie was kicking ass in this trailer. Like, one of the gripes that I had about The Last Jedi was that Chewie really didn't have much to do. And he's another beloved Star Wars character. And I felt like Chewie didn't really do nothing but eat and, you know, tell Luke to get his shit together. But other than that, he didn't have much to do. But in this trailer, like, he was kicking ass, man. He was tossing motherfuckers and everything, man. So I'm like, alright, Chewie kicking ass. And the guy that's playing Lando, I'm like, alright, you know, I, I think I can get on board with this, man. So it drops next month. Um... I'm going to go see it, you know, I, I just got my new movie pass, so I'm going to see how, how that works, you know, I was kind of hesitant about getting it, but I did hear some some good reviews on movie pass, so, yeah, with my movie pass now, I can go see uh, Solo, I just want to say that I did shit on the teaser trailer, well, the teaser for the teaser for the Super Bowl ad, and now I'm saying that uh, I do want to see it now, I am going to see it, I'm not expecting to love it. I'm not expecting it to hold its own on the other Star Wars movies. And I can hear some Star Wars fans, well, I tell you what, it'll be better than that Last Jedi shit. Last Jedi was probably the worst movie ever made. Man, Star Wars fans, we, we, we some emotional people, ain't we? <laughs> Listen, all right, you're never going to capture the magic of the original trilogy. And I think that's what uh, us fans are looking for, is to recreate that magic that the original trilogy had. And it's like, you can't, man. Like, when, the, when those movies came out, they were head and shoulders above everything else because visually, there was nothing like that at the time. I mean, you had Spielberg or whatever, but 
Star Wars was just like so above everything else, man. Like it was like Michael Jordan playing with his generation, man. It's just you know you 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 can tell, and that's why those films are are, are timeless because of how special they were, and it was like lightning in a bottle. Today, everything visually today looks so good, even though the storytelling might not be the best, but visually, everything is like, the bar has been raised so high, like Star Wars is, at one point Star Wars was like this, but now Star Wars is like on, it's like an even playing field now, so when you see a Star Wars movie now, you're not blown away by the visuals, because you see good visuals all the time in movies, man, and I feel like, you're never going to recapture the magic of the original trilogy. So that that's all I got to say, man. I think Solo is going to be good. I was impressed by the trailer. What did you guys think of Solo, man? Comment below, comment freely. It took a lot for me to do this video because I've got like this cold, fluish situation going on right now. So I feel like hammered dog shit. But I did this video because I had to share it with y'all. I had to get it off my chest. And now I feel better. So what are you guys' thoughts, man? Comment below, comment freely. Thank you for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. I'm about to go drug myself up and lay down now and get some sleep.